And it's still the breakfast and Plus TV Africa. Thanks for joining us this morning. We're about to look at the papers. We call it Off the Press. Ezekiel Nyaitok joins us this morning via Zoom. Ezekiel, it's always a delight to have you every morning. The pleasure, the privilege are all mine. Thanks for having me. All right, then. We'll start off with the Punch newspaper this morning. Uh, on the Punch, new Naira scarcity, Sokoto Zamfara Katsina, border residents trade in the CFA franc. Uh, you know, that's a currency that this country is, eight of them in West Africa, actually use as a, it's a legal tender for them. Long and short of the story. Now, customers without new Naira notes must pay in CFA. Traders insist banking halls empty. LCCI says Naira exchange poor, affecting businesses. ICPC arrests currency hawker. Angry youths protest iniquity and Delta. The riders you find. Now, there's also another headline. There are several headlines here, but I'd like to take this one. Amoshu Abiodun clash over performance abandoned project. And Anambra gunman killed teenager, burn 1,240 INEC materials. Obi Kwankwaso won't step down for Atiku. That's what the party is saying. No favorite candidate, says U.S. envoy. And presidential candidate, Wike frustrated, lacks integrity, says the PCC. Uh, that's so much we can take at this point. All right, on the nation news paper, the big one there, LFI, elements in government working against Tinubu, and uh, a very controversial interview from last night. And, of course, uh, the First Lady Aisha Buhari put that interview on, his, uh, uh, on her Instagram page. It's still there with hashtag Long Live the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Uh, elements in government working against Tinubu, uh, LFI. He's talking about those in, in government in Asarofila as well. No cash missing in Ogoni Trust Fund, says Edun. Gunmen burn INEC office in, uh, and police station in Anambra. I plan for betrayal. I plan for backstabbing long before they happen. Uh, I guess a headline there. I don't know if that's a campaign <laughs> a message, a headline with the face of a presidential candidate. Uh, how Lekki Ekbe Road will boost Lagos economy. Uh, Samolu uh, opens expressway. Worsening Naira scarcity hurts daily living business. A picture of Kodini Mayfield there. Well, we have the Daily Sun newspaper, and it talks about the allegation. Governor Arufai's allegation of sabotage sparks fear in the APC. The big question is who are these elements, you know, in the presidency or in Asarok that are sabotaging uh, their own party. Now, you find court okays Kano's request to access doctors and medical records. Uh, that's what also the Daily Sun is quoted to say. He was not poisoned. He will be taking care of the DSS. There's also a story that Namdi Kano has been poisoned by the DSS. Atiku's government considers Southeast for topmost position. Okonkwo. Uh, allow state to determine worker salary, control own resources, pay taxes to center. Akira Dolu tells federal government. Again, U.S. wants politician against undermining the elections. While we're opposed to same faith ticket, Khan is still saying, and uh, Otto is a move to rescue Enugu from drinking water crisis. These are some of the headlines you find on the Daily Sun. Very quickly over to the Daily Trust. Uh, hardship lingers as business uh, travels suffer. The uh, kick after that is uh, narrow scarcity. Narrow scarcity, uh, hardship lingers as businesses travelers. Uh, suffer. Online transactions fail. Chaos as banks, customers fight. Uh, another one from the paper, one killed as police station INEC office bombed in Anambra. Wiki revokes stadium approval for Atiku's campaign in Rivers. Governorship candidates to defend agenda at Media Trust debate can all right. And uh, that's some of the headlines on the front page of the Day Trust. Let's quickly uh, bring our guest, um, Ezekiel Yaitu, at this time. Uh, architects in Yaitouk, we uh, will start off with the situation with the Naira. I mean, it's on the front pages of uh, the least story in the Punch newspaper with the uh, Sefa being used to trade in parts of the country that border 
uh, francophone countries, neighboring francophone countries. And um, we see a picture on the front page of the punch where uh, IFCPC operatives are overseeing and supervising uh, the loading of, or monitoring the loading of uh, new narrows into ATM, uh, uh, ATM points at banks, as the CBN governor said will happen. Uh, what are your thoughts on this? Uh, looking at also what the Daily Trust has said with hardship that Nigerians are facing, fighting at banking halls with chaos everywhere. Yeah, I, I'll tell you there are two sides of um, this story. The very first is um, uh, the national economy. I was one of those, that I have been one of those that has been in support of the central bank governor. But uh, there's an aspect I will not be happy with him as concerning. And that is that they ought to have made that. I was very happy about the change in Naira note, I can tell you for more reasons than one, but they ought to have made it such that it was relatively readily available. But it's really scarce. I actually went through some banks yesterday and I couldn't even get 20,000 Naira for myself. Okay? So for that, it's not good enough. And then people are really suffering. People are really, really going through hard times. If in the north, they can have safer to have as an alternate currency. In the south, we don't have anything like that. And people are going to sleep at ATM. And also, I want to encourage the EFCC and the rest who are going through bank vaults to make sure that the money is there. But you see, the fact is that if a certain bank is given a certain amount, how do you ensure that that whole money goes into the vault and not that some, or not vaults, into the ATM machines? and not that some have, some do not have. It's a process that they needed to be a little more coordinated in what they were doing. But on the other hand, you know, it has helped some of us politicians that were being overburdened by, you know, people bring money, bring money. You see, it, there are two seasons in life, you know, night, day, black, white, sowing, reaping. Campaign season is reaping season for Nigerians, and that's wrong, totally wrong, absolutely wrong. Campaign season happens to be sowing season for politicians and reaping season for Nigerians. Now, that's for about four months. Just suppose that with governance season, it now becomes reaping four years for politicians and sowing four years for Nigerians. And that's wrong. All Nigerians should come to the mentality of four months of sowing, everybody sows, and then reap good governance four years. So that's the mindset I hope this would have been able to bring out. But it's still not working very well. I think maybe in the next election cycle, it will be better. Let's have four months of sowing everybody and then four years of reaping. So that's to the extent that I supported the policy because there have been too many people who had monetized uh, electoral processes. So for me, it served them real good. But we needed to balance it such that the poor is not... Um, made the worst for it. I hope it makes the poor to wake up and insist on whoever has what it takes to give them four years of plenty and not four months of plenty against four years of lack. So I think it's just being able to balance between the two. All right. Ezekiel, yes, let's uh, turn our attention to the uh, Daily Sun newspaper. On the Daily Sun newspaper, uh, Governor Rufai's allegation of sabotage sparks fear in the APC. There's that video. Uh, of course, you also have the wife of the president uh, pr posting that video as well, just to say, hey, this is true, because that's what it means. Uh, I'd like you to share your thoughts. Who are these elements in the presidency that are you know, working against the presidential candidate of uh, the APC? If, if, if there's anybody that doubts such a statement, it's because the person lacks what I would call emotion, emotional intelligence which is what um, the presidential candidate of APC, I'm sorry to say, lacked. You see, you need to understand people. You need to understand mindsets before you go public. You're a public person. You want to be president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Everything you say, you do not demystify leadership. You don't, no matter what it is. Look, there are areas that I disagree completely with my governor. I don't agree, but you will never in my life hear me come to castigate or insult the, the office of the governor. There are many times I've said certain things about the president who I don't agree with. 
You're not going to come on national television and insult him or in any fora whatsoever. And these are days of not even national television. These are days of social media. Even a meeting between three people or five people, you don't know who is recording. And it's going to go out. Not to talk of a meeting where you have so many people and you're telling the world how the president came, came, came on all fours. Even the choice of words were derogatory. And guy, let me say this with every sense of responsibility. If you understand, I don't know whether to come and blow it up and talk about the full knees because it's like painting everybody with the same brush. But these guys don't joke with their leaders. They don't. And even the ordinary person, including an acquired man like myself, I wouldn't be happy if you say certain things about... I wasn't happy when they said some things about President Jonathan. And I'm not happy when they say certain things about my president. Me and him, we don't agree. Many grounds, we don't agree. Ah, no, no, no. Me and him, our fight is like Tom and Jerry. But I will not come here to, 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 to make... To, to degrade the office of the president. He's my president. He's like my governor. He's my governor. Me and I, we don't agree. Many but. But I'm not coming here and saying, Udom is just clueless, it's absolute. In fact, he begged me to, no, 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 you don't do things. So because of that, it should be expected that, in fact, right now, if people love Ashiwaju, they should be thinking of the highest level of damage control. I, I, I listened to, was it Festus Kiamo? Uh, no, no, it wasn't, uh, it was uh, Fanny Kayode, who came and boasted of how they have 22 governors plus five in the wings and these and that. They don't have these north, south, east and west. I think that all the presidential candidates on the day of election should have a doctor behind them because when the results start to trickle in, some of them, including governorship candidates, some of them are going to fall backwards and faint because we're going to have clean election and they are going to see the real mind. Forget about all the money you are throwing around. They are collecting the money because they believe they are thief and it's their money in the first instance. It doesn't mean they are not going to vote for you. No, it doesn't. It doesn't mean they are going to they are going to be in for root shock. That is why President Buhari, I I I pray that God gives him that strength to just sit on this beaver's policy. Sit on it. And even the monetary policy, let him sit on it, but let money be available for people. By the time people are able to get money from their ATM easily, they don't care. In the next two, three days, you can resolve that and people are happy. But central bank, whatever it needs for you to make the money available, at least at ATMs and even across the counter, even if you give limit of, say, maybe 20,000 across the counter as well, use all manner of a areas to make it easy for the people to collect their 10,000, their 20,000. That's the one that, that's not the one that's a problem to you. Those who are looking for 200 million, 400 million, ask them for what? They should go and campaign. Go and campaign. I'm campaigning. You understand me? Bring out what you've got to say, not money. They don't, they don't need money now. Yes, they need money, but that's not the money. They need the four years of a stable government that takes care of the basic essence of government and governance. Security, welfare of the people, chapter 2, section 14, subsection 2B. So I think that all these things should be put together. And what El Rufai, Rufai said, I listened to it myself. And as he was saying, I could understand where he was coming from. But, 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 but who, who could these people be? I mean, uh, in the system, uh, in our they are They are northerners and southerners who feel that this man, look, we've had enough of you. What's it? Why would you talk to our president like that? They are northerners. They are southerners. They are you no... Know, they are, they are Nigerians, not necessarily Fulanese. They are, they are people, you don't talk like that to the... I, I wasn't happy. So you're talking I wasn't about happy. the, the uh, Abe Okuta uh, declaration or the Abe Okuta yes, statement. Yes, yes, Abe Okuta where he declaration. Said, started, Olu -le. <laughs> that's where the, the problem started. The, animal, the elephant in the room was found in Abe Okuta. Ah, I see. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go on uh, to look at what's going on in the People's Democratic Party. Um, do you think Wiki's uh, influence and the, the influence of uh, the, the G5 or integrity group is waning? You know, people have become tired of, of the, the, the same song. You know, uh, like uh, a song goes, how shall we sing the same song in a strange land or a love song in a strange land? Um, the front page of the uh, 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 Punchy Super has this story, presidential candidate Wiki frustrated, lacks integrity, says P. C C. Um, I saw something yesterday uh, when people asking, "Oh, Wiki, you said you will announce 
uh, uh, together with your group of governors, the preferred presidential candidate, you throw your support behind. Uh, in January, and this is uh, February, and he now replied that he never said he announced it on TV. <laughs> you know, so I, I want to talk about that. Also, um, I dovetail that uh, into that the uh, front page story of a Daily Trust that says Ricky revokes approval for articles campaign in Rivers. Yeah, uh, you see, the, the, the Wiki thing, I've tried to follow it, and people may think that Wiki has lost, but I think that Wiki has achieved what he needed to achieve, whatever happens, and that is that he has slowed down the, 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 the pace of what would have been the tempo of the PDP candidate. He has largely slowed down his tempo, like it or not. The only thing is that the, the APC candidate could not take advantage of it because of internal wranglings in APC. APC is just one day. It's like in Aquaibo, one day, three troubles, you know? There's the problems are just coming out left, right, and center. While, on the other hand, Labor, you see, uh, Labor Party is, is, is consistently moving on their own trajectory. And there are two other presidential candidates. No, I, I'm talking now as an analyst and not as a party man. You see, when you listen to two people, you know, one is the SDP candidate and the other one is the ADC candidate. But for the internal issues within my party, ADC, these are two candidates that would have really, really caused a major upset in this country. Because their sound bites, their intelligence, right. their, their understanding of issues is something to write them about. But you see, because they don't have the sort of platforms that these others have, you don't have, as of today, the talk would have been between... ADC, APC, no, sorry, ADC, Labour, and then um, SDP. As of today, that would have been the conversation between the three parties because it would have been the new kids on the block. But you see, Labour Party comes in, he cannot really assume that new kid on the block because of where the man has come from, you know. But if they had had these three people, you know, ADC, a new kid, SDP, a new kid. We have and then Labour would have been able to come in and play with him. This would have been the conversation. But because that, that new conversation is missing, we are still talking about PDP and then APC. Zephania, These guys effectively we, we have, have little or go. nothing to offer, in my opinion. Thank you so much. Uh, we have to let you go. It's 7.55 on the and top. Congr congratulations uh, uh, on, uh, on the... Uh, sorry, Messi. Uh, we, we need to remember that Zika Yetu was part of um, the Aquabum Security debate. Uh, yes. Oh, you should have watched it. You must watch it. You must. M U S T. You must watch it. I know you won, the, it. You, you won the debate. I'm sure Messi agrees. Now you that. saw. <laughs> they say, man, when they dance, you don't know how he's back there. But <laughs> reading from the comments, God was awesome. God gave me the most. It was, it was great. All right. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. We wish, wish you were a successful day ahead. Thank you. All right. Yes, Messi, I think uh, if he wins, uh, we'll, we'll go to you for, for a vacation. <laughs> we'll be right back. We have a discussion ahead. We are talking about uh, the security situation in the country and the need to make Nigeria's uh, borders impenetrable ahead of the election. Stay with us. <laughs>